It's time for the talking to stop and the fighting to start. This should be good. I'm Todd Grisham. Alongside me is Johnny Nelson. It's going to be unbelievable. The fans, everybody around the world, the fighters. This is just one of those things. It's time for our tale of the tape. Joe Calzaghe, six foot even with a weight of 174 pounds. His reach is 73 inches. And he'll be facing Joe Calzaghe, the prop. It's no wonder they call him the pride of Wales. Joe Calzaghe, super middleweight, light. Here comes the pride of Wales. You are looking at an absolute legend. The longest reigning super middleweight champion in boxing history, spanning over 10 years, defending against... This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of... So much hype surrounding this fight, and now it is go time. I don't know where everybody else has been. I don't, this is not a job. I feel so lucky, so blessed to be in this scene, to be talking about this fight, to see it with my own eyes. I don't want second any. These athletes have been waiting a long time to square off. Here we go. Nice counter. These two fighters are made for one another. Good counter punching. Exchange here from both men. There's a counter shot. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. Trash talk between these two fighters. Now it's time to put up or shut up. This is not just hype. We are in for something special tonight. What an arena, what an atmosphere, what a building. For those who thought this would be a mismatch, you are sorely wrong. Both men step back for just a moment. Counter left hand there. He misses with that jab. Punch, counter punch. You'd like to see more jabs. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Again. That was almost a 10-8 round. Complete dominance. I seriously hope the judges kept their eye on this fight because if they haven't... Here we go. Round two. Who's going to land the first big shot? Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. Keep an eye on this slugger. As you know, he's willing to take three to give one. That's his game plan, and it's worked out pretty well for him so far. If you get in with a slugger, they want to work at their own pace. Use speed, frustrate and take them out of their comfort zone. Make them tired, trip over their own feet. Get them angry. <laughs> Got out of the way of that right hook. Left counter was perfectly timed. <laughs> Tough to be a judge in this fight as both fighters have had their big moments. Neither man really defending themselves. <laughs> he gets out of the way of that left hand.
fighter told us yesterday, if he doesn't win by knockout, he doesn't consider it a real victory. That's the mentality he has. Sluggers are an absolute nightmare. They will stay in your face, not give you a breather, not step back when you think, all right, let's have a breather. They want to get stuck right in. Beautiful counter punch. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Well, we're entering desperation mode here. Gonna need a knockout. Wow, it's like two different leagues. Here we go in round three. Who's gonna land the first big shot? Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. That was a tough last round. Now you've got to make sure he doesn't put it on him. That's what he's going to try and do. So tie him up, hold him, lean on him. Don't get drawn into a fight. Not yet, not until your senses have come back. He missed with that jab. Showing exceptional chins, by the way. When are we going to see a jab from these two? Great counter right hand there. A lot of people love watching fighters in this weight class because they've got the speed and they've got the power. Middleweights always gives us a class. If you've got two class middleweight fighters, you're in for action. I'm quite sure right now, if you know you're boxing, there's a certain fighter, Mr. Mr. I would just say marvelous, but some fighters were unbelievable middleweight. He misses with that jam. Close round with 10 seconds to go. Well, we know they've got the advantage so far, but how does this match get turned around? Dominance without them. And here's the bell to start round four. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. Men step back for just a moment. <laughs> Power is obviously the great equalizer in boxing, but when you know your opponent is relying on that so heavily, how do you deal with it? It's the one who draws first blood top. That's what you've got to look at. If you pick and you know you're in there with a banger, you've got to be on it, but you've got to be confident. I can't believe we're only halfway through the round. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. That counter scores. John landing that left counter punch. And so far, the offense has been better than the defense. Nice counter punch. Nice exchange here from both men. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go.
Well, this is the time that the trainer needs to come in and say something special. Time for the fifth round. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. Now he knows he's being hurt. He's going to come out and put the pressure on. He's going to throw the kitchen sink at you. You've got to be ready for that. Don't fight fire with fire. Hold him off. Be smart because he's going to try and put you under pressure. He knows your legs are gone. He knows your head's not cleared. Be sharp. Down the right. talk about a boxer's chin. Do they have a good chin? Do they have a glass jaw? Those are questions that are being answered here tonight. I've seen some fighters with a granite chin. You can hit them with a sledgehammer, they are not going to move. But then I've seen some mad punches with a chin like this. As soon as you touch them, they're gone. And this is the danger spot. been a very competitive round between these two. And he misses with that jab. He blocks that jab. So you've got someone with the hand speed that this fighter possesses. How do you deal with it? You have a fighter that's got that great footwork and that great hand speed. It's so hard. It's an uphill battle. Perfect counter lands. Nice counter shot. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Talk about a one-sided three minutes. We just saw it. Let's start the six. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. Good counter punch. That's offensive display, landing that left counter. Then step back for just a moment. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. Nice counter shot. No doubt that this fighter's power can change the fight around in an instant. He can't afford to make one single minor mistake. Todd, do you know one of these fighters can knock you out with a simple jab? They're that powerful. Halfway through the round, and there's not a lot separating these two. Nice punch. Get out of the way of that left hand. When are we going to see a jab from these two? A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Could not have come soon enough for this guy. The bell, sometimes it can be the sweetest sound. There's the bell to start round seven. So not the best round, but let's see if they can turn it around here. They've had one minute to recover. Now they've got to block it. They've got to block it. They're going to come out now and style it out. Get on the back foot, jab, rest on the jab. Be smart and pop until your legs come back. Then, put the pressure on. Power is out 
obviously the great equalizer in boxing, but when you know your opponent is relying on that so heavily, how do you deal with it? You've got to be courageous when you get in there with someone that's bigger, stronger, and faster. You've just got to use brain. Man. Power is obviously the great equalizer in boxing, but when you know your opponent is relying on that so heavily, how do you deal with it? what you're seeing as we reach the halfway point of this round. He just misses with that jab. One of the best attributes to have in boxing has nothing to do with boxing. It's how well you can take a punch to the face. This is when you get in the ring feeling like you're King Kong because you know you've got a chin that is not going to get bent to. that jab. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. And a round that seemed like eternity for them finally comes to a close. Every second, every minute of this fight is important. Every second, every minute of... And there's the bell for round eight. So the fight will continue. How do they turn things around? Solid punch. Both know who the bigger power puncher is. There's a significant power difference. How would you handle that? I've seen certain fighters that can depend on just their power alone. Forget tactics. They know the second they touch you, it's done. That's where the confidence comes from. <laughs> Missed him with that uppercut. Very competitive round here so far. He just misses with that big right hand. Endurance is becoming a factor. You can see this fighter having a hard time getting out of the way of punches, and they're not throwing as many on their own. Now you've got two fighters that are absolutely shattered. What gets you through? Willpower. Calm, because if you panic, you get desperate. If you get desperate, you make mistakes. If you make mistakes, you get knocked out. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Sweet music to his ears. Leaves a knockout without a doubt. Needs to go out there and think, right, you know what? Next round, you're getting it. You're gonna get it. Kitchen sink. Enter the night. Let's see how they bounce back here in this round. He parries that right jab away. He blocks the right uppercut. He 
he misses with the left uppercut. I think it's safe to say one of these fighters certainly has a significant speed advantage. You can tell who it is. I've never seen a fight is so fast in my life. How'd you deal with this? You've got to hope, you've got to hope they run out of steam. I think it's safe to say one of these fighters certainly has a significant speed advantage. You can tell who it is. Neither man really defending themselves. He parries the right jab away. Round still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. And a round that seemed like an eternity for them finally comes to a close. You know, the beating fights like that. When you think you come up by a ring. This is the 10th. Off their stools and ready to go. Let's hope this round is more competitive. There's a big difference between being the aggressor and the effective aggressor. Which type are we seeing so far? I've seen some aggressive fighters like this, and they are a nightmare. If you are not fit, if you are not fit, that is the worst place to be, having second thoughts in the ring. Output. Thought there would be uh, some more action here. Neither fighter willing to sit down on these punches. They're arm punches. They're scoring, but they're not going to hurt anybody. He's stronger, but he's not faster. They call it the chin. How strong is your chin? Do you have a glass chin? These are things that can affect the fight. Work the body, frustrate them, take the mind off the chin, take the mind off protecting everything around that. Work the body, use tactics sometimes to sort of watch you out, box the fight and beat them on points. Seconds to go. Who's going to get the last shot here in the round? Well, he is in big trouble here. He may have been saved. So there you have it. It is official now, and that is not the way anyone wanted this fight to end. No complaints there at all. The crowd agree. I agree. The ref knew exactly what he was doing. So you know what? Great shout. I look forward to fight number two.